It's Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler had an itch. People don't know this, but Chelsea lately is a classically trained actress. She no longer loved doing her own long running cable TV show. My best acting is every night on this show when I act like I'm interested in what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a seven year itch. I've got it in a big way. <laughs> in April, she scratched it and announced the show would be ending. How are you feeling after seven years to be leaving? Fulfilled. I'm feeling very fulfilled. 50 cents. And why not? She's the only female late night talk show host on TV right now. You're very, very cute. You Thank know you. this, right? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> and her program on the E Network, I Chelsea Lately, like, I deserve you. Is watched by more than half a million people every night. I, do. I, do I feel great. like you might deserve me for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Her five books are all bestsellers. Chelsea Handler! And her stand-up comedy tours are standing room only. If I do one thing, it's brush my teeth like eight times a day. I'm not big on showering, but I brush my teeth. But Chelsea needed a change. I had a really good time doing this show, and I probably stayed a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I just kind of had a feeling, oh, maybe I should stay a little bit longer until another woman does a late night show. And then I came to the conclusion, this is not my responsibility. If I'm ready to move on, I should move on. The only thing I'll be. She was making her decision while men were playing late night musical chairs. Jimmy Fallon nabbed Jay Leno's spot. In Fallon's seat is Seth Meyers. Stephen Colbert will take David Letterman's chair, and Craig Ferguson will leave his. Where were you in all those discussions? Well, I mean, I've never wanted to, to do any of those jobs. I've never wanted to take over for Letterman. Obviously, when, you know, when that happened, it was like, oh, well, maybe. There were definitely phone calls about it. Um, but I've never sat down in a meeting and said, this is what I want to do. It's you just, never wanted to do a late night network TV no, show? No, I'm not a network kind of girl. Any sex for him is a <laughs> home run. <okay? laughs> After all, Handler's known for saying whatever's on her mind. And she doesn't seem to give a bleep if it offends. You tweet very amusingly. I wish you did. <laughs> like when she feuded with CNN's Piers Morgan. Commercial break. I want your viewers to know. You, I mean, they must know because mm. they're probably following you on Twitter. I mean, you can't even pay attention for 60 seconds. You're a terrible interviewer. So maybe it's no surprise that Handler's next job is one even the cable censors can't touch. So what's next? So next, I'm going to go to Netflix. Which, as you may know, is not a TV network. So help me God. So help me God. Netflix is a streaming video service with hot new shows like House of Cards. This is not how I imagined prison to be at all. And Orange is the New Black. I didn't want to be tied to doing celebrity news. I want to talk about human interests. I want to talk about politics. I want to talk about sports. I want answers to questions that I want to ask. Chelsea scheduled to create four documentary specials in 2015 and then a full-time talk show in 2016. It's a big leap. Were you at all scared about stepping off that precipice? I'm never really scared. You're never scared? No, I don't really have a lot of fear-based issues. Chelsea says her fearless attitude developed when she was growing up in New Jersey. You were a pretty independent kid. Where'd that come from? Well, I didn't really have a choice. I mean, I was independent because my parents were, I mean, they were there <laughs> physically, but they were over it. I was a sixth kid and they were like, they were done with setting up play dates. So it made me feel like a total outcast because my parents just refused to participate in my childhood. <laughs> There's a thing called helicopter parenting. My parents were like ceiling fan parents. <laughs> They'd be on a little bit and then just turn off. And be like, we don't work anymore. We're in the Bahamas. At the age of 19, Chelsea left her family to pursue an acting career in Los Angeles. I wanted people to know who I was. Even if it's not for everyone, I have a point of view that's different, and I was going to prove it to everyone. I just think I wanted to be famous. She waited tables and started doing stand-up. I take safety seriously, whether I'm on the streets or on the sidewalk. TV shows like Girls Behaving Badly soon followed, and then she broke through with a book about her one-night stands. Fans were smitten. After the show, I'll sign the book. Make sure the book you have is my book, though. <laughs> when we met her on tour in Detroit, she spent most of her time off stage signing books, more than 500 in the space of a few hours. 
I like to go on tour because I like to meet my fans. I like them to see me face to face, putting in the effort, putting in the time, not coasting on my laurels. And being on stage in front of that many people who have paid money to see you is a responsibility. She goes, you don't understand what it's like to be a mother. I hate that. Yes, I do. That's why I would never go through with a pregnancy. And what they're paying for is a 39-year-old single woman who makes fun of everyone, especially herself. A woman who wrote a book called, Are You There, Vodka? It's Me, Chelsea. But is she really that mean or that drunk? Yeah, it's vodka. I mean, I can't do this shit sober. You know, on my tour, when I'm doing stand-up, people send drinks up on stage all the time. And if I don't drink it, they're really upset. Or if I have a cup and it's clearly water, like, I always put it in a red plastic cup or a glass because people want to think it's vodka when it's not necessarily vodka. How yeah. much do you really drink a day? A, a day? <laughs> yeah, a not, day. Not as much as people think I drink no. at all, no. Yes, I drink. I don't drink every day. I'm not hammered every night, hardly. At the same time, you have this empire. So when you joke about being a functioning alcoholic, you're not really. No, I wouldn't call myself an alcoholic. I mean, I, I could be a functioning alcoholic. I'm sure a lot of people would say that about me. I may be. I don't think I'm an, I don't think I'm an alcoholic. But I mean, most alcoholics don't think that, do they? Hi. 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 How are you? And Chelsea Handler functions well enough to earn more than $20 million a year from TV, stand-up comedy, and book sales. What do you think you learned about money now that you to have throw it away? Money? I have really? no respect for it. I give everyone. Yeah, I don't care about money. I mean, if somebody needs a car, I have no problem buying them a car. Have you done that? Yes. More than once? Yeah. Yeah, I've bought homes, I've bought cars, I've bought and I mean, it's just the right thing to do in my mind. She is the first person that gave me a brand new car when we first started working together. Did you have a nice weekend? I had a great weekend, <laughs> and I have a video to prove it. Roll it! Chewy Bravo has been Chelsea's on-air sidekick since the start of her show. What should people out there know about Chelsea that maybe they don't get from the funny jokes on TV? That she's a very lovable person. Inside of her heart, I know she loves me. I don't like to be thanked. I like the feeling it gives me when I do it, but I don't like to continue to talk about it. It's interesting. You're blushing a little bit. I mean, I'm sitting here talking about how great I am. So obviously, I mean, it's embarrassing. I'm sitting here, what a generous person I, I am. Asked, I, I asked. I asked. It didn't just come out of nowhere. Now everyone knows the truth about where Chelsea Handler's headed, but the secret she's still keeping may be even more interesting. The drunk mean girl is actually pretty nice.